How's it going? I'm Visionary, this is Visionary Dex, and today I built a Sump Monument deck that can hold your opponent hostage for the entire game. Now, the core idea behind this deck is Pike's Bone Skewer. Unfortunately, Bone Skewer itself did get rotated, so we can no longer play it as a main deck spell in standard. But as long as we have a Pike on board and another Pike in hand at the end of every round, we can always make sure that the next card we draw is Pike again. So theoretically, we could just keep throwing Pike on top of our deck, and as long as we have some Monument on board, we'll take no damage for the rest of the game, and we won't draw any Puff Caps either, because every time we draw a card, it'll just be that same Pike we keep shuffling. Now, it was very, very hard for me to figure out a way to make this actually infinite, but it turned out to be really simple. It's just Zevi, because every time you draw your one Pike that you put on top of your deck, you get two copies. One is the Pike, the other one turns into the champion spell. The rest of this deck is just filled with three copies of every single lurk card because it is very important that our pike becomes high attack. We only have a certain amount of turns to get his attack up before for the rest of the game, we're literally just drawing the one pike. So if we go infinite and pike is like two attack, we're probably not gonna win. But assuming our pike gets to like, I don't know, six attack or seven attack, he will eventually just level up wipe the enemy board, and it sort of becomes hard for them to do anything when every turn I'm just playing Pike and striking something. Now, of course, this is like not the best deck to climb with, but it was a very funny deck, and I'm so freaking glad I figured out how to make it work because I almost thought I wasn't going to be able to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's games as much as I did recording them. This is honestly one of, if not my favorite deck I've ever built. Without further ado, here's game one. All right, here we go. The first game against Scion, LeBlanc, Ash. I wonder if they're using the landmark. They gotta be using the landmark. This is gonna be a tough one. Um, Zevi is gonna be in danger. <laughs> I guess we keep probably like Augmented Clockling. Pablo's good. I think we want like an early game hand. I maybe should have thrown Zevi back. But Zevi is part of the, uh, Zevi's part of the combo. So we got Zevi, we got Pike. All we need now is a second pike, which we're going to try to create by copying. So I guess if we can just find pike with Practical Perfectionist, then we're good to go. I almost want to save, like, Practical Perfectionist for later. But, wait. This is <laughs> this is a ramp deck. What in the world? What's going on here? We're ramping. Why are we ramping, bro? I don't understand. Please explain. Alright, I mean, I guess I'll give myself better lurk odds. That's probably worth shuffling, shuffling a couple copies of. That doesn't feel bad. I actually think that's like pretty good synergy. I'll, I'll block to kill this. I don't care. I'll block with Evil K. Doesn't matter. I actually, I don't know how we're going to win. But like, that's less important. We'll figure that out later, right? The important part is that we just, you know, exist. And right now, we're not going to be existing for very long if we, a, we don't find this sump monument. There it is. So we have everything except for a second copy of Pike. We hit Lurk. And there he is. That's our second copy of Pike. And it's gonna kill Ash, maybe. Wait, no, he's only gonna strike for two, isn't he? I'll let this through. He doesn't freeze, and then she dies. Okay, okay, okay. Now, do we play him this turn is the question. I'm a little worried about the types of spells this guy could have. I guess we'll probably just drop him. I think it, I think it makes sense. Alright, so now as long as we can just drop Zevi, we literally have the infinite combo. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. I'll attack with this Walkling for sure. I guess we probably can't attack with Pike here. I'm not going to risk it. We we technically can attack with Pike as long as Zevi survives this turn, but I don't... I don't know what he's playing, so, like, the odds of Zevi surviving this turn are not guaranteed. Dude, what? I got to play against Nox Crea Arena? Zevi cannot go in a cage match against this elephant. That's not going to work. That's a problem. So I guess I'll drop Pablo... <laughs> he'll he'll five punch the elephant. Frostbite. Bro. What are you doing? Uh maybe we need to play our own landmark removal. My bad. Are people playing Noxcrea Arena? 
because that, that does kind of just like win this guy the game now. Because if we go infinite... Wait, hello? Huh? Hello? I forgot this elephant's ability. I forgot what the elephant does. I actually forgot. I was like, is the game broken? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Dang it, dude. It's because Pablo's four power. This elephant doesn't take damage unless something with five HP. How am I supposed to win? How am I actually supposed to win? Pike dies? No, Pike doesn't. No, I can't surrender. I can't surrender. We have a chance, guys. We have a chance. I'm going to save him. I have to save Pike. I'm going for it. We, we're gonna... Uh, the fact that this guy is playing this just wants me to win this even more. It makes me want to win it even more, alright? All we have to do is level Pike. If we can level Pike, then we're okay. Vigorously hopping. Ah, uh, we need more Lurk in this deck, don't we? We really do need more Lurk. How are we gonna win if we don't? I, I, I can't drop Zevi! I actually just can't drop Zevi. I mean, hey, at least we're taking zero damage. That feels pretty good. How many mushrooms? Only th it's one per card. It's no problem. All right, what do we got? Let's predict something good. Echo. Echo's pretty nice. Only one puff cap. What a deal. What a steal, dude. Three mana echo, one puff cap. I think I will. It's like this guy made this deck specifically to spite me. What in the world? I'm I'm trapped. Nothing can damage this elephant. This elephant is an infinite being that just exists now and there's nothing I can do about it. What am I supposed to do? Echo's not even leveled, man. I need to top deck a time trick or a rummage. I have nothing left in life. There's nothing. There's nothing left. We need to talk about the elephant in the room. Yeah, yeah, we do. I'm sorry, Echo. I'm sorry, buddy. Listen, there is one clear-cut answer to what as, as to what needs to happen here. If a family of fools makes a circus, not a kingdom. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me, man. You've got to be kidding me. What is this? What am I playing against? Attack, I dare you. Oh, pass! You're really just gonna burn an entire rally. You're just gonna pass. You've just decided you're gonna pass. That's what you're doing here. You're just passing. I do my own stunts. We hit lurk, baby. We hit lurk. He's wasting his cards. This is good. No, this is good. We can survive. I can I can go down to like one HP and we'll still win this game. Once Pike is big enough, then we win. I'll skip block. 44 mushrooms. Given to me. Delicious. Little does this man know mushrooms are my favorite food. Actually, I should have blocked there. No, that made no sense to not block. I should have blocked. I feel like they're playing with their food. What makes you say that? <laughs> He has the landmark, so do I. Maybe I should just drop my second sump monument. Just to show him how little I care that he is that he's winning. We will win this, alright? We will I know he is winning the battle, but we will win the war. I just need draw. Evil K, that's even better. Okay. That's great. That's fantastic. I'll copy Pike. I just have to attack and I need to hit Lurk now. I just need to hit Lurk. If we can get Pike to Five, eight, 5 attack, then that's when we win. That is our goal. Alright? If we can just somehow get Pike. Oh my gosh. You've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. What is that? A change is coming. I miss Lurk. I miss Lurk too. I, I missed it. I missed Lurk. Just let me hit, man. Just have pity on me. Please. No. 
I mean, there's, I just, I literally can't play, I can't play a single unit, because if I play a single unit, it, it, it hits the elephant and does nothing. Uh, plant a thousand mushrooms in my deck. I actually don't even care at this point. What was that top deck? No mushrooms, never punished. Even less mushrooms now. Even more pikes in my deck. We will find a way out of this. We will. We will We will find a way. This guy's astonished he hasn't won yet. He is astonished. This is the start of the comeback. Here we go. I just need to top deck another pike. I need to top deck one of the pikes I just shuffled. He had the better deck. He had the better deck. Let's be honest. He did have the better deck. I'm about I'm about to hit my villain arc. My villain arc starts this game where I steal LP from everyone. Alright? There is no other there is no other way this game goes except I steal everyone's L LP. Starting this match, I'm the villain. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't want to, but there I have no other choice. This is this is all I have left. All we need is Sump Monument. We have we have it. We have We have both pikes. We have Zevi. What a beautiful start. I'll time trick and we'll just see if we hit a lucky drop order. Nope. <laughs> what? Why is my pike so easy to find all of a sudden? This is so weird. I gotta skip. I need I need uh I need to find monuments. All we're looking for is the sump monuments. The monument of the sump. He do got that hourglass figure. Yeah, I keep calling this guy hourglass. Modern beauty standards, huh? Ooh. Okay. Lurk. We hit Lurk. Okay, Pike's attack is going to be two, at least. That's good news. <laughs> that's, better, that's better than one. I'll trade this with anything. I don't care. I just got to hit the... I, I just got to hit the Pike. I got to hit the Lurk. Perfectly fine. If we can get Pike's attack to three or more, he should be safe to start attacking this game. We save this for Nidalee because we need to kill her before she levels. The only way he can really kill Pike is with her javelin tosses. Other than that, he should be pretty safe. This is the one. It is. It is. I can feel it. I can feel it in the air. Can you feel that? Can you feel the energy? Can you feel the commotion in the ocean? Because I can. I hope you're ready. Sump Monument. Mm, Bloodbait. Oh, I should have saved this for next turn. I forgot. We want to play this on attack. I'm an idiot. Bloodbaits, it's fine. More bloodbaits is good. We could have we could have gotten two lurks if I played this next turn. Because we would have gotten the one from Bloodbait being here, and then when we drew Bloodbait, we got another one from playing it. It's fine. Uh he cannot attack with this bush, otherwise I will be blocking it and trading with it. And this is needly. We all know this is needly. The the needle. We know this is the needle. The green needle. <laughs> I can see the views now. <laughs> That's right. All right, here's what we do. We, we play Clockling. We get a free attack. Another Bloodbait is very good. I'll take a free Bloodbait. Okay. I'm going to play a Bloodbait now. And we just get a free guaranteed look. This is good. This is good. Okay. We're getting Pike's attack up. And then we'll, we'll kill Nidalee next attack with Pike. He's going to get to, I believe, five attack here. I think we have guaranteed five attack in hand. That's big. That's the biggest we've ever gotten our pike. Okay. This is this is believable. We have a chance. Two <laughs> That really that really says something. That we're getting excited right now because I have two lurks, doesn't it? Two lurks. We've lurked two times. You know what that means, guys. This is the one. Alright, Nidalee. Wait. Okay, yeah, so this is guaranteed Nidalee, because he, he's playing this, then he's going to flip her. I have to block here. It's fine. He's going to flip Nidalee, give her quick attack, and she'll have the extra. Does she does she actually get permanent stats? If you, if you give a bush a temporary buff, does it give the unit it transforms into a permanent buff? I don't think that's the way it works. Is it? That's actually so good for me. So he just he just threw away the needle he had in hand. I get to give this vulnerable now and pull it in with Pike. That's huge. Still plus two plus two this round only. 
So we'll go for this. Snap judges for the lurk. We're just getting pike as uh, big as possible. We're almost there. <laughs> We're so close. And the next turn, all I really need to do is just find the monument. That's all we're missing. Pike is four attack. Look at that, huh? Look at the progress we have made. All right, monument time. Please be the monument. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen. We are there. We have everything we need to win. Don't you dare kill Pike. Thank you. Thank goodness. All right, no quicksand. There's no shot this man is quicksand. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in the quickest of sands. I believe only in the slowest. I thought I thought the <laughs> I thought for a second the card he played was called sand something. Eh, it's probably fine, right? <laughs> That's probably fine. What was that? I don't know. He thinks he thinks uh he thinks mushrooms can kill me, but little does he know. Mushrooms are, in fact, my uh, my greatest ally. I guess we just drop the monument now. It's monument time. And we go infinite from here. I just hope he gives me a chance to drop Zevi. And that's it. We have officially reached the combo. We are there. Oh, man. He burnt a husk. I could even... I could play double monument if I wanted to. Just to troll him. Just to meme on this man. Just to ruin his day. So the way this works is we're always going to let him attack. It is crucial that we let him hit face with all of his damage, and then we play Pike to guarantee that he plants no... no damage on... no no mushrooms on our top card, which is going to be Pike. Now, that's a lot of mushrooms. You're looking at this and you're thinking, Visionary, you can't take all that... you can't take all that damage to face. That's like 500 mushrooms. Uh, yes, I can. I actually can. I don't care. 120 mushrooms? That's nothing. Finest gear? It's literally nothing. Finest. finest gear from Piltover's Finest. And then we just do this. It's this simple. And I'm just going to remove units one by one. And we go infinite. It's beautiful. <laughs> We've done it. We're there. We have reached the combo. And I mean, sooner or later, Pike's just going to wipe his board. And there's nothing he can do about it. The stuff of dreams, it truly is. Look at it! We've done it! It's so good! And not only, not only does Zevi duplicate it, not only do we get a second pike, this creates yet another pike in my deck. Every bone skewer I play now will just continue to stuff my deck with brand new pikes. Play the <laughs> Actually, I will. I'll play the second landmark. But first, I'll attack. I will attack first. <laughs> now, does he level? He actually does level here. <laughs> we got him, boys. We got him. It's so good. It was worth it. If you were here... You know the struggle. You know the struggle it took to get to this to this to this combo, but we made it. We freaking made it. The sub monument infinite. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Wait. No. Okay, thank goodness. That technically could have planted on our pike, but it was only four mushrooms. What what was the damage? I took from the oh the landmark popping. I wasn't sure this was going to happen. I wasn't sure this this was going to work. Now listen, I, I don't think we have to do this with Pike. I think I could play this on another card. It's just like, why would I want to, you know? I could play this on... There's no point. I'll just, um... Resolve. Snapjaw Swarm. Pike gets even bigger. Pog? <laughs> Is he going to block? I don't know. It's a good question. Oh, yes. I actually... Oh, I should have... Wait, I misplayed here. I actually have to make sure Pike strikes, otherwise I lose. I forgot about that. This was a misplay. Uh, th obviously, this made no sense, but that's alright. Listen, I... 
My head is in the clouds right now. I've been trying to hit this combo for so long and we finally hit it. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh man. GG's. We destroyed this man. Utterly destroyed. Truly a pioneer. Thank you. Thank you. Two hours and 43 minutes, but it was worth it. We finally got there. All right. Uh, this is Samira Jinx. So this is a much more aggro deck. This is actually kind of scary. To be fair, but we can we can uh, we can take Samira Jinx easily. This is this is a fragile combo. To be fair, like it is fragile, but there's a lot of decks that just don't really have cards to deal with it. If the opponent has a get excited, I guess we are kind of in trouble, aren't we? Alright, so we don't have any of the combo pieces except for Monument. We do have Pike now. That's good. We're just, we're drawing so much. I feel like we want to play Monument after we know we have everything in hand, you know? I'm just going to pass. We'll probably plan on playing a Caustic Riff here. I think, I think that's the goal. Maybe we'll find another um, drop order off of this as well. That's okay. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of units, my man. I guess I'll drop a Clockland and we'll just, um... Hmm. That's the yikes. I guess we can go for double predict to just fish out a drop order, hopefully. This is kind of bad. <laughs> this is actually kind of bad, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, we let the, um... Ephemeral units hit face. Let's see if we can find one more drop order, hopefully. There we go. There it is. Okay, now we've got a chance. That's decent. I'm gonna skip. I don't think we want uh, evil or a regular K. This is pretty good. I guess that could hit a lurk for us. Double pike. Oh my gosh, dude, that's so much damage. Okay, we gotta drop the monument. We have to drop the monument first thing next turn. I I will guarantee you the last thing this man expects right now is to see a sump monument plop down on board. The last thing he expects to get in his way of winning this game is a sub freaking monument. Oh, did I not block with the other? That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> All right. I will attack with this. This will die to Caustic Rift sooner. And I just wanted to see if we hit Lurk. Unfortunately, we did not. I will time trick. I think we time trick and I think we rummage and that'll activate flow so I can play double riff next turn if I want to. I think this is the move. I'll, I'll rummage one sump monument and one snap jaw. Uh, we just need to find Zevi. If we can find Zevi. And one more pike. <laughs> then we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, the show begins. Oh, and another caustic rift. That's like literally the best other card I could find. Why would he attack like this? What is he doing? Why would you do that to yourself, man? Okay, I'll pass. I mean, the only danger now is removal. Good thing I didn't play Pike here. Uh, so the only thing we have to worry about is the fact that his, his get excited do nothing, right? So, like, he'll probably just save them for Pike. That's the only scary thing. Uh, also, our Pike has no attack. That's the other scary thing. I'm going to play this now. Okay, good. One one lurk. And this does one damage. If this did zero damage, we were in trouble. Because <laughs> that's just a wasted unit, basically. So I think I think first things first, we drop Zevi, right? We drop Zevi and we attack, or we drop Pike and we attack. It's gotta be Zevi. You dream it? We drop Zevi. Uh, our next card we drop will be Bloodbait, probably. Stands for Jinx. I'll just do this and I'll attack. I don't just make them. On the hands. They're, new. They're new. Hopefully, it doesn't kill it. You could have killed Zevi, my man. <laughs> Wait, why are you going to face? That doesn't work. You know that doesn't work, right? I don't think he knows that doesn't work. Does he know that it doesn't work? 
Okay. So, all we have to do now is not draw mushrooms. This can't be that hard, right? Surely, surely this can't be that hard. There's no way he planted those mushrooms on, on the very card I put on top of my deck. There is no way. Surely. That's only 12. That's nothing. That is chump change. You either draw three and die or don't and win. And it looks like it looks like we have hit the latter. <laughs> uh, all right. I mean, what do I need mana for this turn? Four for Pike, four for these two, and then two for the Bone Skewer. We won. I think we did. <laughs> I think we did, baby. I think we got it. Now the only question is, do I play Pike and Bone Skewer first? I think we do, so that we have guaranteed lurk with these guys. Am I wrong? I can I can just see if we hit it randomly with this. Nice. Okay. And then if we missed here, we could have played. This one again. But I want to just wait. Pike flips. I mean, he doesn't flip on one hit, but he will flip eventually. Yeah, I mean, we've got plenty of attack on him now. He can actually attack into Jinx, which is crucial. That's what we needed here. This is this is perfect, dude. This is perfect. What is he doing? He keeps hitting my Nexus. Who does he think he is? <laughs> he's actually, he's probably going to kill his Jinx off here by blocking with her. Does he know? <laughs> I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows. Now, okay. Jinx does need to die because my Zevi is about to go down. That is the one problem. We need Jinx to die, so I have to kill her this turn. And hopefully he doesn't draw another one. This is why this is why Pike is better than Rek'Sai with this whole combo idea. Because he is able to remove units. So if you are in trouble with, with something like this, like, there are a lot of scenarios where it becomes useful. <laughs> and just like that. What? Zero mushrooms? How did my opponent draw zero mushrooms? He's playing Sump Monument. I've, I've planted 80 in his deck. Surely he would have drawn a mushroom by now. Surely. You would think. He's still going face. He could have killed Zevi. What is he doing? What is this? Someone help this man. He doesn't understand how this game works. He doesn't get it. <laughs> oh no, dude. Oh no. All he has left is a 1-1. One -one. He, is, he has gotten me down to three health, and he's been frozen there for the past four turns. And all he has to show is a 1-1. One, one. Oh, man. I mean, obviously we have to do this. Hopefully he doesn't have a Jinx. If this is a Jinx, that's just unlucky. Pike's leveled. We drop him next turn, and we basically win from there. He wants fervor top deck. I know, he's just waiting to hit my face one more time. Like, surely, you know, surely, <laughs> surely if he just plays Fervor one more time on my face, then he'll win. If he just does three more damage. Now, he's actually, he's smart here. Is he, is he choosing not to play units? What if there's no unit to strike? <laughs> then you clench your cheeks and you pray you don't land on a mushroom. <laughs> I can't. You kill what do you mean you killed yourself? I didn't kill he's he is choosing not to play units. He's actually smart here. Oh, Pike before attack. You You're right. I should have I had to threaten lethal. Two mushrooms, please. I'd be fine with two mushrooms. Two two mushrooms, please. No. Alright, I misplayed. You're right. We had it. That was winnable. I misplayed. I mean, now now that this deck... Look at this hand. Look at this hand. Look at this hand. I'm going to throw uh, any lurk I can back into my deck. What in the world? This time is the time? Surely. I uh, just get more lurk back. All right, that's fine. Okay, we're going against Poro King. This is great. This is, this is fantastic. 
I, I lost to Portal King earlier and I was so sad because this is like one of the best decks we could ever go against because they have no way to remove my units. They have no removal. There's nothing to be worried about. It's fantastic. One lurk. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that lurk and slip it into my pocket. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Who would win? The biggest fuzzballs in the world or the biggest memer in the world? <laughs> Opponent Snooey's and Sinoni's brother, Sam Crow. Not brother, maybe like distant relative, like cousin. Cousin twice removed. Sam Crow's, I don't, that's a little bit of a stretch. I don't know. Sam Crow? Sam Crow. I don't know about Sam Crow. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, so this is actually, this is sweet. We could either just summon one pike and use this as the bone skewer, which is, I think, game plan for now. Or we could play this pike and then have two pikes on board and do the combo with twice the pikes. And we'll have sort of like a safety pike. I'm just gonna blood bait, take a free attack. I don't want to drop Pike on board while he has a challenger Poro. I really hope he doesn't find any more of these, and I hope he trades this with a non-Pike unit. Otherwise, maybe we'll just end up playing Death from Below on this. That's probably what'll end up happening, is I have to Death from Below this. We're just gonna stall, just gonna pass. I got all the time in the world, all right? Nothing can hurt me but mushrooms. Mushrooms and mushrooms alone. It's very tempting to death. I feel like we just death from below this now, don't we? I probably should have done this before I attacked. I should have. I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna remove it. I mean, we're, we're basically there. It's just like, all we need to do is level pike. We can already start the combo now if we want to. <laughs> we've got we've got two snap jaws, which is pretty sweet. We drop Zevi next turn, and then we just drop the monument whenever we start to feel like we're too low on HP. Dude, this is so much fun. I love this deck. This deck is actually hilarious. We literally are not afraid of anything except maybe a freeze. The only thing that could maybe potentially kill my pike right now is a freeze. I don't I don't think most Poro decks run freezes, do they? Harsh winds. Three sisters, they don't do that. They wouldn't do that. You're hitting Lurk more consistently with this version? Yeah, we've, we've gone through so many different versions of this deck. This is 3.1. Um, now that we're literally just running the maximum possible amount of Lurk cards. I mean, I missed this time, but... This is, this is, a, lot, <laughs> this is a lot better than the old version of the deck, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, we drop Zevi. We get double the value on whatever we, whatever we draw. I think we could still wait like two turns before dropping the monument, potentially. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. This is looking good. We've got a rally. We've got a snap drop. Our pike's going to get big. He is, he is going to get big. The only concern is that his Poro King uh, outsizes my pike. But I guess like we don't even need the sump monument on board to start shuffling with Zevi if we if we want to. This is pretty pretty nice. I can't play both of these this turn. This is a good top deck, I guess. I have an elusive blocker. <laughs> Hello, hyped. I'm Thirtle. I am hyped. Nice to meet you, Thirtle. Uh, Alright, his poros are getting big. Is it monument time? I feel like it's monument time, boys. It's gotta be monument time. This is too much damage. I, I want, in the event I draw mushrooms, I want to have 18 HP. I don't want to go lower than that. This leaves me with enough um, mana to predict and draw something with like a mushroom on it. He's not going to plant that many mushrooms here. And then we still have uh, mana after the clockling to bone skewer. And we, we just start the combo. This is it. This is it. <laughs> it's been monument time since 1983. It's kind of accurate. That is, that is kind of accurate actually. Yeah, I'll just, I'll play this now. I could play like, ooh, that's a nice drop. Um, I could play Snap Just Warm, but I don't know. 
I guess actually, no, this doesn't even help us, does it? Like anything I draw now is just going to get burnt because it's fleeting. I don't want to burn either of those. Let me burn like a random lurk card or that. Ooh, wait, I can play those. Ooh, okay. What in the world? Maybe we're not, <laughs> maybe we're not taking so much mushroom damage after all. Never punish. It took me so many games to get to this point, but I feel like I have reached the peak of Luck Mountain. I feel like every opportunity I have for good RNG, I have hit it for the past hour. It is unbelievable. And I'm sure it's not going to last forever. Like, someone's going to knock me off of Luck Mountain eventually. But while I'm here, it feels good, man. It feels good to be here. What? Are you okay, Porking? <laughs> Need some laxatives? <laughs> what was that noise? Why does he sound like that? All right, he's trying to kill my pike. Um, unfortunately for him, my pike cannot be killed. I'll save Zevi. And then... We'll just go from there. This is, this is perfect. It's beautiful. I'll save this drop order for a future attack as well. I don't think there's any point in blocking this... This 4-4. I will be wiping this 4-4 off of his off of his board very slowly. Slowly but surely. Next turn, we will hit these units one by one. We will wipe them all. Except for maybe the Poro King. I don't know if we can kill him yet. And we will we will show this man. We will show this man the depths of the ocean. I still don't understand the deck. Just, okay, think about this, JJ. Think about the fact that I just put Pike on top of my deck and how that could potentially interact with Sump Monument. Now, where did that one run off to? Just think about the potential here for what this could potentially mean. Just think about it. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, it's so funny. Now, okay, he does have Poro Snacks. I, I feel like we gotta go for a kill on this, right? I gotta go for at least one guaranteed kill. Because if he Poro Snacks right now, I don't kill this. Do I do I attack for a Lurk? I think we attack for one Lurk. I could have a guaranteed... No, it's better to... I'm gonna go for this. Then Pike is going to be on top of my deck, so then I can go for a guaranteed Lurk. Once Pike's on my deck. And then all future Pikes will hit for six. He'll pour, he'll pour those snacks, which will save most of his units here, unfortunately. I think we'll hit the elusive. And then I guess maybe my elusive can attack. That's better than my drop order randomly attacking. <laughs> oh, man. You also get double death from below. Is that good or bad? That's bad. Because then I don't get Bone Skewer. Wait, that's bad. No, that's not good. That's very bad. You're right. I actually can't attack here. Oh, no. I, I ruined the combo. How many mushrooms do I have? I think I might have ruined it. Uh, we probably can't attack. I don't think we can afford to. I mean, dang. Pike went to work. Oh, he leveled up. So he did hit for six. I forgot he was leveling there. I only have 48 puff caps. But yeah, we, like, I don't know. I, I think we're at the point where we could probably win the game. But is it worth one extra lurk point? It's just not worth it. We'll drop Pike this turn. We'll rally and we should win this turn. It's just safer to always have a bone skewer. Yeah, we, we missed one one potential lurk there, depending on what card is on top of my deck now. Whatever card was under Pike there could have been a lurk card. I should have attacked before Pike. Pass equals guaranteed infinite. It's true. It is true. Alright, yeah, so I think we'll I think we'll pike. I think we'll play Blood in the Water this turn. I guess we'll have to probably play it on his Nexus. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Let's let's drop it on this. 
I think we just drop it on this and then we bone skewer on top of this on the stack, right? This doesn't do much though. There's no need to bone skewer on the stack. If he wants to play another unit, then that's cool. If he passes back right now, I go for a clockling attack and just see if we hit another lurk. Because I'm trying to get my pike a uh, high enough attack to finish off the rest of his board. Wait for him to pull. The problem is I can't really wait because then we burn this bone skewer. But if he wants to, if he's too, if he doesn't realize that, he, he goes for the pull anyways, then it's fine. Alright. He's gonna pull, but he should know that I have a bone skewer if he's figured out the deck by now. So, like, the five head move is for him not to pull, you know? Because then he's just letting me play bone skewer. It does nothing. Like, he should have pulled Zevi, if anything. But then I just bone skewer that. <laughs> like, I don't know. There's not much he can do, to be fair. I, I, I... Oh, this has regen. That's bad. That's not good. Now you wasted another rally? Yeah, because I can't... Oh, man. I think I did misplay by playing the rally there. Rally was a bad idea. I should have just kept it simple. Okay, so... We attack with this. No lurk. We know the card on top of our deck is not lurk. We know that for a fact. Odds are it is either a Caustic Rift... Uh, evil K or regular K. I think we cut evil K. Or a rummage. Those are the most likely cards it is. We only have 48 puff caps. I think we're we're safe if we. I think we're safe if we if we go like five more turns to skip the infinite because every time we do this we shuffle an additional pike into our deck. I guess we gotta kill Poro King. So I wanna go for this, and then I wanna just target Poro King like two or three turns in a row, and then he'll die. <laughs> this is so this is so stupid, dude. It is it it This this deck is like the benchmark for whether or not your deck is a good deck. And sadly, I think almost all Poro King decks don't pass. If you cannot if you cannot deal with Pike Infinite, then you are not a real deck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Poro King. I'm sorry. Don't freak out. Play with Ionia. Maybe play with play with a, a region that has landmark removal. I don't know. Safety is a relative concept. It's true. <laughs> Poor King said, "Bruh." It's true. It's a long list of poros. It feels never ending, to be honest. It feels it feels like this list of Poros is truly infinite. An infinite list for an infinite deck. I guess he's matched me. We're both going infinite. I mean, it almost feels like he's going to mill sooner than I'm going to win. <laughs> but that's not true. You lose? No, we don't lose here. We're fine. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, no. Wait. He had double challenger. No, dude, no. No. -uh. Real good to see you. Okay. We have to draw into another Zevi now. That's the only way we win. It's the only way. I'm gonna kill this, obviously. Maybe the non lurk is another Zevi. That's true. I like that optimism. Yeah, maybe we just top deck another Zevi in two turns. We have to we have to wait two turns. That's the other fun part of this. Do I want to turn my my normal pike into blood in the water? I feel like I do now. I feel like I turn this pike into blood in the water. I'm going to go for it. Because this means we can pass this next turn, as opposed to just playing Pike on board immediately. Then this means Pike will not be uh, challengeable. 
I think I think it was actually crucial. We we had a way to turn Pike into blood and water there, or death from below. You know, you know the thing. You know the name of the. It's you know, they're interchangeable. They're both. Wait, do I win? Wait. I just I just double stack. <laughs> just double. I just double stack pikes on his on his Poro game. Board wipe. Yeah, he has seven attack. <laughs> That's th so. This is what I was talking about. Th the reason this says Pike created this card is because this is from the 500 bone skewers we played. This is just one of the many pikes that we that we shuffled into our deck. He has no clue. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. I'll just let him fill his board as much as he wants, and then we wipe it and we win. That's game. We have actually bested this man. Out of all the keywords he could have gotten. Spell shield. Seriously? Okay, I think we can still kill him, but I was gonna target Poro King. Does he still die? Wait, what? Wait, how does this not work? Wait, what? He hits for eight. Then this one hits for eight. Then one of them strikes the next one. They don't both strike? How do they not both strike? Wait, what? In the world? Why does it work this way? <laughs> Wait, that's so weird. <laughs> okay, I mean, we... Alright, we gotta go for this. These are my streets. Do I, do I need one on board? Block first, then pike? I think you're right. But then I could take a lot of damage, and I might just die to puff caps next turn. But I think we have to wipe his board. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think we have to block first, then pike. We're setting up two units to die here. So now if I do this... Is that good enough? Is this the best way to do it? I don't understand the logics behind behind how this works. Why does it work this way? If I play this on spell shield, does Pike still get summoned? He does. Okay. I was just curious. Yeah, I don't know. I guess this is our best order. Does it should I play one and then play the other one? The first pike does not kill, only the pike that kills strikes again. <laughs> This is so weird. I thought they would both strike. But I guess that makes sense. Each one is individual. And it the text says, like, when I strike. Wait, I don't know why I can't... I can't look at level 2 pike from this? I don't know. That's gotta be a bug. Alright. I mean, that's three That's three Poros down. Poro King is not looking so happy himself. We, we threaten lethal next turn, so he has to trade his Poro King. It all comes down to... <laughs> The next card I draw. How many mushrooms <laughs> does it have? Wait. No, oh, man. Oh my gosh, dude. Do I open attack? That's a big Poro. Of course he had another Poro. I could, I could potentially push 8 damage here. Is it worth it? I think I have to push eight. We missed Lurk, of course. At least we have Zevi. So whatever we draw next turn, we're getting two copies of. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me, man. No! No! He does play a freeze. The Poro Meister plays a freeze. Alright. GG's. Well played. Well played. Does the, does the deck pass the test now? I don't want it to. I don't want it to pass the test. You dream it? I mean, it's still just... It, he cannot kill us with face damage. He can only kill us with mushrooms. If my next card is a pike, and it does not have enough mushrooms on it... 
Oh, no. That's not a particularly great top deck. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, obviously we're playing this before he attacks. And we are playing it. That's not bad. That's only two. That's only two damage. That's pretty good. All things considered, that's not bad. Uh, I mean, the sad thing is all copies of Pike in our deck, wherever they are, which we have shuffled like five extra copies in, uh, we'll probably have mushrooms at this point in the game. He has attacked after we've shuffled them in there now, so they're all contaminated. <laughs> Let's draw some cards. Only 40 more shrooms. Yeah, this guy's this guy is about to do a casual 40. It's not that bad. We've seen more shrooms. It's only 80. <laughs> it's not that bad. You don't have clearance. I mean, why not? You know, might as well block with, with Sevi here. Eh. He didn't even play the Poros next. He could have planted, like, another... Another eight mushrooms. Has to be under six. Our top deck has to... Yeah, I mean, that's fair. That's fair. We, we got close. We got close, ladies and gentlemen. We got close. The Pike Infinite 